Hi everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I had a request from my dad. He wants a prop piece and he wanted a fake beer mug for a prop and asked if I could do it in resin and I'm like, I don't know if I can do that in resin. I mean, I know I could fill a cup up with resin, but if it looks like beer, that I have no idea. But I'm at least confident to get the color I'm not confident about the bubbles. I really want bubbles in here. Um, so I'm thinking the thickest resin I have is the Let's Resin Fast Cure. And I, if I whip it like cake batter, like I'm always telling my husband, stop whipping it. I'm hoping I create a whole lot of bubbles. And I hope they set fast enough. The um, What I don't know how to do is the the white foam on top. So he may just get like a small white covering because I don't know how to get white foam in resin. Um, a friend of mine had an idea of putting some UV resin in the curing machine or the bubble make bubble remover, get all the foam to come to the surface and then zap it with a UV light, but I couldn't get it to work. So that didn't work out for me. So now I'm on... I'm just going to start with the beer. So let's just start with the beer. So I'm going to, he said he didn't want it all the way full. So I'm just going to do like eight ounces of resin. I'm going to whip it, whip it, whip it really hard in this cup and pour it in. Well, let's see if we can get the right color first. I kind of am just going to experiment with an orange and a yellow kind of mixed together. So I know there's all different color beers out there. So I'm not really concerned about that aspect of it. I'm just hoping it looks like beer when I'm done. All right, I've got this mixed as quickly as I can. I'm whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. Hopefully these bubbles, I wish I had more bubbles, which I can't believe I ever say. I'm just gonna start getting the color in and see if I can create some more bubbles. I'm gonna start with some yellow first. These are my alcohol inks from Let's Resin. And just kinda whip it more. <laughs> I've never been asked to create bubbles before. I always want my bubbles gone. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Regardless, it's just a prop. It's not the end of the world if I don't get this right. And because we are going to be looking down, I don't need to test it on a napkin or anything because that's the color we're going to see. I'm just going to put a drop of the orange in at a time and see what that does to the color. Hopefully I'm not going to ruin it. Let's get it like a deep amber color. And if I don't like that, I'm going to just put more yellow in. That was just one drop of orange, so definitely don't want the orange. Don't want it to look orange. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. I don't know. I don't drink. I don't drink beer for sure. So I'm not exactly sure what the perfect color is. All I did was Google beer. <laughs> and there were all sorts of different colors. Try to get rid of some of that orange I just put in there with some more yellow. I don't know. I think that color's okay. What do you think? Does that look like beer, all you beer drinkers out there? Does that look like a color that would be normal? And I wish I was doing this live so I can get all your input on the white. Because <laughs> it's too late once it's in the comments. Although, if you have an idea, please put it in the comments because I can always go back and fix this for him later. Possibly. Or make another one. He just went to the thrift store and bought this for five bucks. So it's not like a big deal. All right. I think it's whipped as much as I can possibly whip it. I'm going as fast as I possibly can. I'm just going to pour it in and hope the bubbles stay. So let's get this here. And just pour it in. A 
wipe this off. I don't want any. All right, let me take you down. I'll show you the side. It's like. If I could get it to stay like that, that would be great. All right, we'll be back when it's cured. Beer? Ha, huh, just kidding. So it's cured and look what I got. All my bubbles are still in there, which I was kind of hoping this was gonna flash cure because it's so deep, it's like two inches. And I know you can do one inch safely with this pump resin from Let's Resin. So it did not flash cure, but it cured very quickly. If it flash cured, it would have looked like it was boiling over and cured at the same time, but this has a flat surface. So it just cured, so that's good. So I'm kind of glad all those bubbles are in there. I did mix up one more ounce and whipped it as much as I possibly could. I'm just going to add some white alcohol ink to it and pour it in and hope for the best. I mean, if it's not perfect, it's okay. Like I said, it's only a prop. So I don't want it opaque white because I want to be able to see the bubbles, but I want it to look frothy so I'm gonna need a lot more than that. So if you guys have a better idea, please let me know, because I don't know. This one is not very white. Let me try my Bria Reese one. I haven't used this one in forever. I don't even know if I can get it open. I can't even get this one open. Got it open. I had to use a pair of pliers. All right, that's much more white. I don't think you're gonna see bubbles in this white to be honest with you. I'm just gonna pour a little bit first and see if I even like it before I use all of this. Might not even need a whole ounce. see it doesn't look too bad actually I don't have that much left I'll just put it in there I would drip it down the side and the top but I think it's just going to drip down the side and the top and leave me a clear spot so I'm not even going to attempt that one so this was like the easiest project on the face of the planet. So let me get you a side view. I don't think it looks too bad. I think this area here, because of the bubbles, are gonna make it look like foam. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll be back when it's done. All right, well, it's done. What do you think? It hasn't changed really from when I left it. Um, it cured really fast. It still looks like foam from this part, even though it's pretty solid resin. And there's some bubbles on the surface in there. I don't know if you can really see that. Right on the edge and on the top. And all my bubbles stayed in here, so I'm pretty happy with it. That was so simple, so effective, and you guys would never know this is not real. Well, now you do, but would you know? I don't know. Let me know how I did. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today. I know it was a little bit weird, but anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You have a blessed day. Bye.